Hi, welcome to ilearnthings.com. This is Tony Polias, and you're watching episode number four, Introduction to Functions. So what is a function? A function is basically a formula that lets you do calculations or modifications to data that's already in your spreadsheet. I use them all the time, um, you know, to do anything from adding numbers together to formatting text to look the way I want to uh, multiple uh, logic uh, conditionals, um, you know, if-then statements uh, and things like that. So how do you add them to your spreadsheet? Well, here we have a very basic uh, spreadsheet open. Uh, we have a few numbers on this side and uh, text descriptions here. And to start off, we're going to do three very basic functions. We're going to have a total, which is going to sum up all the numbers in this column. We're going to have an average, which is going to give us an average of the numbers. And we have another one, which is called maximum, which is going to tell us which one of these numbers is the largest. So how do you enter a function? Well, first you want to select the cell you wanted to put it in. So let's say this one right here, we're going to put in the total of all these numbers above it. So we select the cell that we want to put the total in. So how do we add a function into our spreadsheet? Well, we can go up here into the menu and select the function wizard. This brings up a screen uh, which has a menu of all the different functions that we want. If you look, there's quite a few, and I highly recommend just going through there and clicking on a few, and it gives you a description on this side. The top right here, this, this part right here, tells you how to type the function in. So here we put, uh, this part right here is the actual function name, which is a cos h and open parentheses, and we put in a number, and then we close the parentheses. Let's see one that uh, we're going to use right here is called sum. So if you scroll up or down and you look for sum, right, here it'll tell us what it does. It returns the sum of all arguments, right? So the function name is sum, which is up here. The function itself is used with the keyword sum, which you can see right there. Then we open parentheses, then we put one number, second number, and these dot, dot, dot means so on and so forth. If you under category right here, you have a drop down menu, which gives you a few different options. Uh, right now we're viewing all, so we can see all the functions. But uh, if you want to narrow it down, you can. Let's, for example, since we want totals, uh, we could just select the mathematical category, and this will give you a list of all the mathematical functions. As you can see, sum is one of them there. In this box underneath here, you can um, type in the formula that you want, and it will basically give you the result. So if we tow 1, then a semicolon, 3, then a semicolon, Five. No, that's not gonna work. So here in this box down here, you can type in the formulas you want it. But uh, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna show you did that right now. Uh, all we're gonna do is just select the function that we want and hit OK. If you look here, all you'll see is an equal sign. What it's waiting for us to do right now is select the fields that we want to total or sum because we're using the sum function. So we're going to select this field and just hide, dr click and drag down and enter. So when we select the, uh, once we have the function we want, just click next. It's going to ask you to put in the numbers. If you look down here in the formula box, it 
put the formula that we selected sum in an open and close parentheses. Um, right now, what we're going to do is fill in the numbers that we want inside those parentheses. You can either type them in manually here. Uh, but since we want to add the numbers that we already have on our spreadsheet, we're going to delete those. And just select this uh, little select icon. It closes the window, although it leaves this um, little bar. And what that allows us to do is select the cells that we want to include in our function. So we're going to start with a 42 and then just click and make sure we select the whole entire column. If you look here, it'll give you the letter uh, and number designation of what we have selected. In this case, it's C2, which is column C, row 2, to C6, which is column C, row number 6. When we have uh, selected what we want, just click on this uh, selection button again. You'll see the formula now is sum open parentheses C2 to C6. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Hit OK. And it puts the total right there where we wanted it. Now, I encourage you to go through this function wizard and just uh, take a look at, at uh, some of these functions. Uh, you know, whenever you have free time, just browse through it because you never know, there might be something there. Uh, that you'll find very useful. Uh, we'll go over some of the ones that I find more useful uh, later on in uh, other tutorials, uh, but for right now I want to show you another way to enter a formula. Um, instead of using the wizard, you can also just uh, type it in manually. So you can hit equal sign, then in this case since this is an average function, average function, just type in A-V-E-R-A-G-E, -E -E, average, open parentheses, then we select the numbers that we want, and then we close parentheses and hit enter. This gives us the average of all the numbers that we had on top. Now maximum is very similar, I'm going to show you a third way to enter in a formula. Uh, you can also click this equals sign right there and type it in the in the bar at the top so this is going to be maximum or max for short open parentheses then again we select the cells that we want to apply it to and then close parentheses when you're done just hit this uh, green check check mark and uh, it will put in the number for you so there you go. There are some three very useful functions and different ways that you can enter them into your spreadsheet. That's it for this episode. So I hope you uh, got a little bit out of it um, and I'll see you next time.